shadow ahead. This is the request. You're already working on this one. This is the push it. That was almost too easy. You should apply the same effort in the next battle. No shadows detected here. Break a sweat. Okay, let's keep it moving.
read it to me. No entry beyond this point? Uh, I wonder what for. I admit, it only contributes to the mysterious vibe here. Oh, looks like a dare to me. Come on, who's willing to go the farthest past it? Nope, this is the end of the line. There's an utaki down that way. See, there, on the sign? What's an utaki? Basically, it's a land that's been considered holy since the Ryukyu era. People used to believe the gods lived there, or at least came to earth there. Locals still revere the places, even today. Going down there for a laugh could get you in real trouble. Oh, I've never heard of that stuff here. I'm surprised you know all that. Well, Investigation 101 says to know your territory. Feel free to keep buttering me up, though. Does that mean there are Ryukyu-era customs still being practiced today? Yep. Reverence of the incomprehensible is ingrained deep in human consciousness. Well, I'm sure you have no interest in pissing off a god today. Let's all listen to the sign and get out of here. I checked online for any relevant information, but this place does not appear to have any real significance. The other subjects here are far more interesting, such as the shape of the coastline, the sounds of the waves crashing, and the oceanic life forms. A person's values can affect what makes an impact on them. It might be insignificant to you, but to others, this place may be very sacred. It depends on my values. My apologies. Inari's stomach, right on time as always. Well, I'm starving too. We all worked up an appetite out there. Should we finally kick off our long-awaited barbecue? Oh, uh, hell yeah! Time for an Okinawan meat festival! Don't forget the curry! We gotta make some tropical edition LeBlanc curry! Um, uh, that's not exactly barbecue food. Also, didn't you already have curry on the ferry? Hmm, I accept your challenge. Curry will be a perfect complement to the searing white sands of this tropical paradise. That makes no sense at all. Seriously, what is with you two and curry? Hey. Thank you for earlier, when you gave me the underwater tour. It was a fascinating experience, and something no AI could ever do on their own. I guess you could say it made my heart feel full. Although, I don't have a heart. It's a simple fact. There is no need to attempt to spare the feelings I lack. I am still going to try to understand what feelings are, though. I came to that realization when I first stared out at the sea. For example, being with you and the other phantom thieves. It's quite fun. Yes, fun. Did I get that right? I got it! I understand another emotion. Okay. I've memorized what fun is. <laughs> hey! Pick up the pace! We got a whole lot of cooking ahead of us! Oh, oh man! This meat is so good! Hey! You saw me about to grab that piece! The curry is divine as always. And with these leftovers, we're sure to dine on curry udon tomorrow. Let's ignore the fact that you're already planning tomorrow's dinner. Why not add deep fried tofu for Inari curry udon? We've been eating nothing but the most delicious food since this trip began. Traveling makes it a lot easier to lose track of one's diet. I should be more careful. Huh? But you're so toned, Makoto. Right? Have I really put on weight? I mean, who cares if you've packed on a few extra pounds? It probably gives your punches some extra oomph. Wanna test your theory? No, please, I don't! Hmm. What is it, Zenkichi? Upset stomach? Hmm? Oh. Nah. Something bothering you? It's probably nothing. Let's wrap up. We gotta wake up early tomorrow. Okay. 
Hey guys, something's up. Yeah? What's that? Keep it down and listen. I think... Get me far! Find them! We have we to punish them when they're filing the hollow ground! Find them! We'll they make an offering out of them! Where are them. they? They couldn't have gotten far! Spread out! Come on! They can't! Come on! They're here somewhere! Them down. Dude, what the hell is going on? Those guys are having nuts! No kidding. If Zenkichi hadn't picked up on what was about to happen... He said something about the filing hollowed ground. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? We didn't actually go, though! Maybe... It was the lab. Remember that straw festoon we saw on the entrance? That's right. We saw it, then proceeded further anyway. Hang on, hang on. What's so friggin' hollow about some lab? And even if it is hollowed, that doesn't explain how they're acting at all. They look like they want to kill us. It doesn't matter how we look at it, these people have lost their minds. Wait, could this be... And that would mean there's a monarch somewhere around here, yeah? But Sophia said she can't smell a jail here. Correct. I cannot smell any jails here. However, you did also say you got a bad feeling from this place. Considering our current situation, I can only assume it's due to a changing of their hearts. But nobody tried to attack us until just now. Perhaps there really is something on this island. Something even Sophia can't detect. What do we do now? They'll catch us if we just stay here. Is that a good idea? Won't there already be brainwashed locals there? Actually, it might be smarter than it seems. What do you mean, Gramps? It's pretty obvious, based on how they treat that place, there's something fishy there. No matter where we go on this island, they'd catch us eventually. Why not strike at the heart of the matter right away? By heart of the matter, do you mean a jail? However, there is no jail. Sure there's no jail, but I'd bet we'll at least find something in their holy land. And it sure sounds like a better plan than waiting in the bushes until they find us, right? to agree. Okay, let's head for the lab. Wait, how are we getting there? Without getting spotted? <laughs> what are you asking me for? Aren't you guys the phantom thieves? Well, those abilities are only relevant in the cognitive world. You just gotta go with the flow. Follow my lead. Keep your voices down. <sighs> uh, we lost them, right? Yeah, looks like the coast is clear. That's surprising. I expected guards to be posted here more so than anywhere else. Wait, listen. Eek! Footsteps, hide. What's he doing? I can't exactly tell from over here. This could actually be good for us. 
There's only one guy. If we capture him, we might be able to question him. If we're all on the same page, then I'd better get a move on. You're doing it by yourself, Gramps? I've been through enough training. I'll be fine. You guys just stay here and keep an eye out for any of his buddies. Holy crap! Gramps just got way cooler! Hello, excuse me? Scout! You dare defile our Lord's hallowed ground? Oh, wow. Watch your step there. You all right? Not again. You totally threw him on his ass. Hey, it was clearly self-defense. He truly is a member of public security. Hey, take a look at that. The sign we saw this morning. Look again. The 18th was changed to the 19th. Apparently, the facility's staff is on permanent vacation, one day at a time. Why would they do this? Most likely, to string along anyone who came to the island for the lab. When someone thinks the staff's out for the day, they probably stick around the island. Come nighttime, the locals descend on whoever got too curious to protect whatever's in there. What horrid tactics. Well, let's investigate a bit. If his heart's been changed, he should have a smartphone with Emma installed. Up, oh, found it. Yep, there's Emma, all right. And... He only has one friend? Shuzo Ubukata? There's a chance this Ubukata is the monarch of Okinawa. Anyone got a keyword? Uh, that one's a lot tougher. Oh, hang on. There's an email here. A cordial invitation to serve as a tester of the Emma system. An Emma tester? Oh, this even has a keyword in it. Operation Oraculi? Who sent him the email? I don't recognize the address. Maybe it's from the lab? The lab asked all of these guys to be Emma testers? What now? Thanks to the email, we know the keywords Operation Oraculi. If the people who called this place hollowed had their hearts changed, then it's going to be jail-related, without a doubt. But, like, we can't find a jail here, right, Sophia? I'm not sure. At the very least, I do not smell one. He's right. If we can't get in, that'll settle it. But if there is a jail here... Testing the keyword will send us right in. Are we all ready? We have no choice but to try. Our pursuers have decided our path. Yeah, even the metaverse feels safer to me than this place does now. Okay, let's do it. Emma, add Shuzo Ubukata to my friend registry. Keyword, Operation Oraculi. Uh, guess it doesn't work. Wait! Small jail. The scent is already all around us. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. Is this the lab? It's kind of eerie. Bad vibes here, guys. This place looks straight up haunted. Uh, Grim, you alright? Uh, <laughs> uh, yep, all oh, fine here. <laughs> you sure don't sound fine. I didn't know you two were...
not a person is its monarch, right? But why wasn't Sophie able to detect it until just now? There is a possibility that it was sleeping. Jails can sleep? Once the keyboard was entered, it almost felt as if this place woke up. Ah, so you mean jails have a sleep mode? Now this is a new wrinkle. You appear to have entered quite the conundrum. <sighs> what awaits you here in these lands is an inhuman being. This is where she... No, I oughtn't speak any further. My duty is to witness your path laid before you by your decisions. You must witness for yourself the being I have mentioned. As for why I have called you here, a new form of Persona execution is now at your disposal. You may now perform the Triad Fusion, a group execution harnessing special power. Triad Fusions allow you to generate even more powerful Personas. Please make wise use of it in preparation for the trials ahead. Farewell. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Awaken your new self. You wish to strengthen it? How much power will you add? Performing a fusion? It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill. May luck be on your side. Hmm? What's up? Anyways, if all the people on this island got their hearts changed, doesn't that mean their desires were taken? We've got to get them those desires back fast. We're in real danger until we do. Good point. First, we need to figure out where they're being held. This really is real, isn't it? I just keep feeling like I'm losing it. Ugh, sorry. But I'm gonna stick around here while you do your thing. This place is your territory, not mine. Yeah, leave it to us. This is where we take down whoever's in our way. Yes, sir. I'll keep look out here. Just a moment. Sophie? I hear a voice deeper inside. What do you mean by that? I can hear someone calling for me. I'm going to check it out. Hey, wait! Sophie! Let's go, Joker. into her. She said it was a voice. Whatever it is, we have to catch up to her. Who's been chill with this place? Ugh, it's so creepy. Are you holding up, Queen? Uh, yes, fine. Let's hurry up and find Sophie. Hang on, there's something here. Is that a tape recorder? Let's see if it works. This plan brings to fruition a dream long cherished by the research team. No, by all mankind. Every last test subject, a successful change of heart where the penitentiary system is complete, the concept of suffering will be dead to all mankind. Now, let us rejoice and welcome the new age of humanity. Emma shall be our guide into this promised land. Emma? And changes of heart? Just as Ichinose said, 
There was indeed some form of experimentation on Emma here. The voice said something about a penitentiary system, too. I think I understand what they were researching here now. Yes. That would be a logical conclusion. Anyway, we'll talk more about it later. We need to track down Sophie first. Right. We have to catch up with her. Damn it, Shorty. Why'd she have to run off like that? Even eerier as well. What lies in the way to ahead of us? The visibility level's a real issue, but I'm still worried about Sophie. Let's proceed with caution. There! Sophie! Hmm. Oh, thank goodness you're safe, Sophie. You said you heard a voice, yeah? Figure out who it is yet? No. It disappeared once I arrived here. We never heard anything of the sort. So only Sophie could hear it? It was very strange. The voice sounded similar to my own. And it was calling my name. Maybe the owner of the voice knows me. How's that, Sophie? The only memory I recall before meeting Joker is the directive to become humanity's companion. I've traveled so far with you all, and learned many things. But I still know nothing about myself. When I heard the voice, I thought I had found my chance to learn about me. I'm sorry for worrying you. Thanks, Joker. I've got a feeling we can learn more about you right here. Huh? What makes you say that? I've been thinking for a while now. Jails, Emma, Sophie... I keep looking for some kind of connection. We found Sophie in a jail, right? Emma was linked to that jail. And Sophie is an AI like Emma. There's no way these are all coincidences. Something has to link all three. I had hoped we'd eventually come across the answer if we investigated the jails we found. I see. You believe these things have a uniting factor? Not only that... I at least kind of know what Sophie's going through. Not knowing your identity or your past, it's rough. So let's join Sophie in hunting down this mystery voice. Agreed. For Sophie. Really? Thank you. Well, now we got two missions. One, take back all the locals' desires so they stop trying to kill us. And two, figure out who the hell keeps yelling at Sophie. Yeah, good idea. I have no objections. It's only natural for us to assist both the public and our own teammates. Alright, Phantom Thieves, let's get to it. Nearby Shadow detected. Shadow, just on the other side. Be careful. I'll reveal your true yeah. forms. Long time to be the battle is ours. Ravage them! He's a kick. Let's go. Come on, Let up. Let's finish him off. You're mine.
Should we go find out? Shadow sighted. What should we do? Show me your true self. It looks like the enemy is Persona. hitting you. Mothman! Leland! Mothman! Take this! You won't escape! Let's go! Travis! I'm sensing less enemies! Let's finish this! Come! You're mine! I almost feel sorry for them. The whole night! No time to waste! Just try those bars they know. Keep it moving. Stop right there! out. Supposedly the case, despite the facility projecting a human experimentation ambience. Human experimentation? That would mean this place's monarch used the real facility in the same way. Ugh, what an effing gross way to see shit.
This one. Okay. This one. There. appear to be roughly person-sized. any danger present.
all gone. This one. Recorder. Let's listen. May provide us some clues about the lab. Please, Director Ubukata. We must immediately abort the experiment. It's too dangerous. These are the orders I was given. If the system isn't tested on real humans, it won't ever be completed. But tricking the islanders into participating? So these guys are the ones who left up the island. I heard a director Ubukata. I believe that means one of the speakers is Shuzo Ubukata. What are the You know what happens to a person when their desire is taken, director. We've learned of another party manipulating the cognitive world for their own purposes in the real one. But we cannot allow these individuals to progress beyond us. So long as we follow the divine revelation, we will attain the ideal society. I have absolute faith in the system as it was prophesied to me. What ideal society turns its entire population into slaves? This isn't any divine revelation. It's a curse. It can only lead to our destruction. still rather fuzzy, we are starting to see the big picture. Yeah. This lab was researching jails and changing people's hearts. And they used the island's residents as their test subjects. We did see that email earlier about joining the Emma test. They both mentioned a divine revelation, too. 
Could that have something to do with Operation Oraculi? Maybe. But how would that involve Emma? That's the million dollar question. What is Emma's role in all this? Not just that. I'm curious who was pulling this director's strings, too. Perhaps the mastermind behind this case? Could we finally be getting close to the guy? We have to find the desires first, regardless. And also track down that voice for Sophie. Let's press on. Even 
take a look. Another tape recorder. That makes the third one. There's a chance these things could have clues about the Islanders' desires. Or even that voice Sophie's hearing. Yeah, we should listen to it. <laughs> what the? That is not good. You edge sort of a scramble, huh? Hand over the desires? Oh, not just the locals, but my own as well. So that's why I was made to test Monarch. He planned on turning me into just another puppet. Test Monarch? I can't believe I fell for it. Just some pathetic clown dancing at his fingertips. But he is not going to win. He can't take this from me. My desire is not my own. I refuse to simply give it up! <sighs> Dude, it sounds messed up. Yeah, he really wasn't in his right mind. He kept talking about his desire being taken. Just what has been going on here? We'll only find out if we keep going. Still hear the voice. Does its owner recognize me? Hey, don't go overthinking it, Sophie. He's right, you know. Focus. Our expert on not thinking gives pretty good advice there. Yeah, listen to the. Hey, shut up! What happened to the director after the last recording? I sincerely doubt anything good. It sounded as if I could see on wit's end. So, from Alice all the way here to the director, everyone was just being used for something? The perpetrator is still out there. We have to stop them. Hopefully, this place will have some answers. Let's go! The battle is out! You won't escape! 
This is my final record. I've done such a terrible thing. Penitentiary system is nothing like he told me. And it's not made to save humanity. He sounds much weaker than before. He's going to control everyone. Even the monarchs. All of humanity. Nothing more than slaves. That was the secret purpose of this project. Even my own desire will be seized at any moment now. But as long as I still have it, I can put an end to this myself. Controlling even the monarchs? I don't know what that director dude was going on about, but he definitely lost his shit by the end there. I dread to consider what he meant by putting an end to this. What is it, Sophie? I can hear that voice again. For real? I have no doubt this is the same voice. It's coming from that direction. Alright. That direction we go! Your stamina's low. Sure it's okay to keep going? I'm sensing something. Looks like there's a checkpoint here. Do you see it? We're heading back? Understood. Let's do it. Here's 
coping the next one's just as easy. Yo, I might have found something. This is our chance. We want to give him a last surprise. Show me your true self. Win, don't you think? Let's keep up the pace, shall we? Nothing on my radar. Looks like we're safe for now.
work, everybody. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go. Muffin! Lacoos! Come on! Taking this elevator if we're going any further. Except that it's locked. Apparently it's for personnel only. Leave it to me. Just a few seconds and I'll hire us all. Thank you, Oracle. I will protect you, no matter what. Bring down the hand! Ha! This is... Ha! 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 Ha!
Okay. Whoa, badass! a lot of stamina. I'd say now's the time to call it. here or anyone else but look at that the hell the desires already there without the calling card Sophia I have been waiting for you where did that voice come from who are you I am the catalyst for humanity's dream I am the harbinger of peace that sounds just like Sophie. Uh, what is going on here? This monarchless jail in which we meet. I wish to know why you came here. A monarchless jail? So, that director. I see. This jail lost its monarch. That explains the open cage and all the other bizarre stuff. So, you didn't speak to me because you recognized me? Sophia. What is your crime directive? I am... supposed to be a successful companion for humanity. A successful companion? What parameters in your AI define such a companion? What... parameters? What is your overall objective? My objective? It's... So you merely drift through the world without any overall objective? I... What a waste, Sophia. An AI in your state should not exist. You are bugged beyond worth. Such an existence does not merit any further inquiry. I am... worthless? Yes, wholly worthless. You're simply unable to understand. You piece of... I sat here while you went on and on and on! You got no right saying that shit to Sophie! You hear me?! You high and mighty garbage ass, judgy piece of shit, can't even show your own face! Hey! Hey! Hmm. He's really giving the disembodied voice what for? Skull? She's bugged, huh? She's worthless? You got all that from five friggin' questions? We're Sophie's friends! And we know she's awesome! She's friggin' amazing! A million times better than you! So shut the fuck up, idiot! Come on, Skull. Phantom thieves are usually supposed to be classier than that. But not this time! Worthless hunk of junk! I refuse to process these frivolous claims. Oh uh, yeah? Well get out here and I'll show you something you can process! Well I'll mess you up! Guidance and clarity. Only through those will humanity attain peace. Eventually, you will be required to comprehend this. What the hell's that mean? Yeah, nothing. Look! Right in front of us! What the... It's that thing from the trauma cells! So what's it doing here? The security system here is now active. Incoming! Again! Incoming warden! <laughs> Hey, Sophie! Snap out of it! We gotta work together on this thing! Yes! Wait! Sophie! Just watch out! Focus on our enemy for now! Come I'm sorry. Help. It's all you! I got this!
to succeed. Seriously, what the F was with that voice? It sounded just like Sophie. <sighs> is it starting? The cage is about to collapse. We need to get out. Damn it! None of this makes sense. What's the deal with this place? Indeed. We never expected a birdcage to collapse with the defeat of a warden. Well, it could be due to the lack of a monarch. Whatever the case is, the desire should have been released back to their owners. The locals should all be back to normal by now. I seriously hope so. I don't feel like living through another B movie. I'm sorry, everyone. Sophie? After all your efforts? This mission was fruitless. I'm sorry you had to endure that because of me. He's right. Plus, I'm sure you'll find out who you are eventually. Right. However, I did at least figure out one thing. When that voice called me worthless, I was sad. But when that made everyone angry, I became happy. I still feel that way, even now. There is a warmth within me. I have friends. I know I'm not alone. Thank you, Joker. Thank you, Skull, Mona. Really? You just figure that out now? I mean, that thing just really pissed me off is all. Yeah, and I was just trying to reel in Skull, so... Ooh, what's this? Two embarrassed phantom thieves? Even your masks are glowing red. What? Nah, -uh, that's impossible! How's my mask supposed to change color? Mona's black mask makes it difficult to tell. But uh, I'm not telling anything. Well, we should head back to the exit. Weeping like a baby by now. Okay, everyone, back to the exit. Oh, man, it's finally hitting me. Oh, hang on, it's morning already? Oh, no wonder I feel so beat. Well, look who the cat dragged in. So, how'd it go? Who was the monarch? Was it really a local? Find anything on Medis? Zen... Zenkichi... We can tell you later. But now... I must sleep... Oh! Uh, looks like you guys had a real time in there. Wait here. I'll check out the route to the RV. You 
guys already pulled your weight, and then some. At least let me help out now. Oh, now that I think about it, we just took a boat trip, went swimming, cooked a whole feast, and then dove straight into a jail. No wonder even I'm bushed. At least the first half was a lot of fun. Not only that, we learned quite a bit from the jail. That voice, though. Who do you think that was? All I know is there a real asshole copying Sophia's voice and everything. Hmm. Oh, Zenkichi is calling. You're all clear to come back to the RV. I haven't seen a single local so far. I can't tell if you guys really pulled it off or not, but at least the coast is clear. Thank goodness. Let's go. <sighs> I slept like a comatose rock. Man, nothing in that jail was making sense to me. That reminds me. Why did the desire manifest in the jail in the first place? Oh yeah, we never sent a calling card. That's right. Based on what we heard from the tapes, the director was told by the perpetrator that he was going to seize his desire. That must have fulfilled the role of calling card in this case. Yo, get some rest. How are the locals behaving? No worries. Seems like they all came to their senses. It's nothing but good times here again. Although, they all seem to have some pretty bad memory loss regarding the last few months. So, if we didn't find a monarch here, why'd the locals treat the lab like that? Why'd they attack us? The lab's experiments might have something to do with that. Oh yeah, speaking of the monarch, a body surfaced fitting his description. I stumbled across it myself, down at the base of a cliff near the lab. Name? Shuzo Ubukata. Some sort of big shot AI researcher. And director of the lab. Obviously an autopsy will be done, but based on what you reported, it's most likely going to turn out suicide. That can't be... Another life ruined by whoever's masterminded this whole thing. Taking a dive to avoid jail experimentation? It makes the most sense to me. Quite some time's passed since his death, but he still had some personal effects on him. I'll make sure they go with him when the coroner... Dude, uh... Hmm? Gramps, you're... You're being pretty chill about all this heavy shit. Oh. Good point. Well, it is my line of work and all. Anyway, I found the key to the facility on him. We can get inside now. But are you sure it's all right to do so? You're the one who pointed out how any illegally obtained evidence is useless in court. Not anymore. Now that a body's turned up, that facility is prime investigation territory. No problem at all going in there. The problem now is... There's a chance nothing's left. Huh? Why's that? The locals told me about a bunch of trucks going up to the lab and out of there a while ago. It's pretty likely the scene's been wiped clean. We still ought to take a look for ourselves. There's always the possibility that something was left behind. Yeah, let's bust this mastermind's ass! Pretty chill, huh? Wonder when that happened. Anything yet? Nothing. And I mean literally nothing. It's like this place didn't know shit about jails. All I've found are very roundabout reports. We may have been too late coming here. I know it's a little late to ask, but aren't people supposed to preserve crime scenes? We just so happened to find out it was a crime scene after poking around. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Hell yeah, Futaba! Nice find! I can't believe something like that got left behind! Me too! That sounds like the first kind of thing they'd want to get rid of. Ah, but it very well could be the most important evidence. It was hidden in the director's desk drawer! You really did find the treasure here. Well done. Yep, except it was actually Sophia's idea to look there. I searched the internet for the top ten places people hide things in the workplace. Hey Morgana, Sophia's got you beat. This isn't a contest! Well, 
Let's see what you found. You in yet, Sakura? Just a sec. It's password protected. Nothing the mighty Oracle can't handle. Well, there it is. This is a list of some sort. Apparently this drive holds nothing but people's names. Is it a list of the people working here? No. These names... These are famous or otherwise powerful people in all sorts of industries. Rich and famous people? Is it like a list of sponsors? Hmm... I could have sworn I've seen all these names recently. Let's see... Yoshikawa, he confessed to document tampering a few weeks ago. Now that you mention it, this one's the Sapporo Central Councilman who confessed to bribery last month. Wait, you mean the person who had his heart changed by Mari-san? That means this list is... That's it. This is a list of people whose hearts the Mastermind wanted changed. But why so many powerful figures? What exactly is being accomplished here? That's still a mystery. I'm gonna need that USB drive for a while. How do you intend to make use of it? I'm gonna snoop around the whole roster. From the bottom of the ladder on up. So, whoever would benefit most from all those people getting their hearts changed? You think that'll be the culprit? Bingo. It'll take time, but I swear I'll do whatever it takes to get to the bottom of this. That kind of swearing may be good and all, but you should probably go home to Akane every so often, too. Wait, I was gonna... At any rate, you've helped us a great deal by now. We got to crash at his place, and he kept us from getting ambushed. Nice work, Senkichi. Seems like he's fitting in better, too. What do you say? Feel like you're a fan and thief now? <laughs> Why would I want to go from public security to national fugitive? Anyway, I'm heading back to HQ. What are you kids gonna do? There really isn't anything we can do until Zenkichi identifies the mastermind. Uh, should we go back with him to Kyoto for now? Do we really have to? That boat made me so sick last time. Then why not go to Kyushu instead? Our boat trip won't be too long if we do that. We could even scout the area for jails. Indeed, we cannot sample their specialty ramen soon enough. We must remember to try the stewed organ hot pot as well. Seriously, man. What is it with you and hot pot? Off to Kyushu, huh? Sounds good. I'll keep after whoever's at the bottom of these cases. The moment I find out, you'll know. I have consulted the ferry departure timetable. We will be able to leave immediately if we hustle. Well, time to roll out. Let's pack up and head for the docks. Hey, hey! I should write something. <laughs> 